Hi guys, my name is Pratik Pratik. Thank you very much for being on the channel. Channel's name is The Punch and you're watching What Matters. A big news blowing up from India where one company has been charged of causing one of the biggest bank frauds in the history of modern India. It seems like they have been able to cheat a consortium of 28 banks led by ICICI to the amount of approximately 23,000 crore and more. Not just the amount which is big, but the case has been marred by a series of delays as well. The SBI identified the fraud in January 2019, but filed a complaint only in November of the same year. A fresh and more comprehensive complaint was filed in August 2020, but the CBI finally registered a case only on 7th February 2022 and booked the company and its directors. We are talking here about India's largest private sector shipbuilding yard called ABG Shipyard, which operated in the area of building and maintenance of ships led by Rishi Kamlesh Agarwal and has shipyards in The Hage and Surat of India. Established in 1985, the company delivered its first ship in 1990. Since then, it has built over 165 ships with 80% of orders coming from international customers. Until the end of 2013, the company was thriving with a net profit of 107 CR. The slide started the following year with a loss of 199 CR and by March 2016, its net loss had amounted to 3,704 CR. Now, it's a natural practice in India to take corporate debt restructuring program where either the tenure is adjusted or interest is waived off when unable to service loans, which ABG also took in 2013-14 to 14, as suggested by SBI. But even that was defaulted due to non-payment of interest in installments on due date. Interestingly, there was an independent auditor's report annexed with ABG Shipyard's annual report for 2015-16 which mentions legal proceedings by some creditors and a show cost notice from the Directorate of Revenue Intelligence, Mumbai, that alleged fraud by ABG employees. The account was finally declared as NPA with back dating to 30th November 2013. A major blow came in January 2019 when ENY conducted force on a report found gross evidence of fraud between April 2012 and July 2017. The audit shows that the fraud was conducted through diversion of funds, misappropriation and criminal breach of trust with objective to gain unlawfully at the cost of banks funds. But the formal complaint by SBI was filed only in November 2019 followed by more comprehensive report in August 2020 and it was as recent as 7th February 2022 that CBI finally booked the case against ABG Shipyard and its directors. As per the FIA report, ABG Shipyard owes a total of approximately 23,000 crore with a majority portion to ICIC Bank that is 7,000 crore and SBI 3,000 crore. And a lookout notice has been issued just about yesterday, that is 15th February 2022, against promoter Rishi Agarwal and ABG executives. Speaking to the reporters, Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman said there was no delay as determining the elements of fraud usually takes 52 to 56 months. And according to Sitaraman, it was to the credit of the banks that they detected the fraud in less time than average. Now this raises serious questions on the intent of all parties involved. Number one. Banks are target-driven and employees most of the time overlook the company financials to meet their own lending targets. Companies know this loophole and use this mechanism to repay their existing loans just to sail through without declaring their accounts NPA. Number two, you miss a home loan and there would be serious of follow-up calls from the next day onwards. Why not follow the same practice with corporate loans as well? Number three, where are the auditors? What are they actually doing if not raising red flags on time? Number four, why do we give willful defaulters time to arrange for their escape? Number five, in the end, we are left with monetizing their assets only, which is nothing but a slap on our faces. Until we not address and fix these issues, I'm sure there would be many more ABG shipyards in making currently. That's it for today. See you tomorrow. Stay tuned for major updates as we only bring what matters to you.